ऑल राइट सो इन कॉन्टिन्यूएशन विद अवर कैंसर सीरीज एंड इन अवर प्ले लिस्ट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमनली प्रेजेंट एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टाइप ऑफ द कैंसर दैट इज द ब्रेस्ट कैंसर विच इज commonly present in females but can also affect males now what are the sign and symptoms if we discuss sign and symptoms of the breast cancer then first is the lump formation when uh, it comes to self breast examination self breast examination the females are educated about regular examination of their breast to check any first of all is lump formation then the shape of the breast can change there can be dimpling dimpling same like in the face or the cheeks the skin or the tissue of the breast can show this effect known as dimpling dimpling can be there and there can be problem in milk ejection especially when the mother is lactating or is breast feeding there can be problem in the lactation and then is the bone pain obvious the we can say ribs are present in front of the pecto uh, we can say uh, chest and pectoral muscle is present over here which is supported by cooper's ligament cooper's ligament and bones are present so metastasis of the breast cancer can affect ribs intercostal muscles which can cause bone pain then a lot of lymph nodes are present in the breast area in the females for drainage of the lymphatic fluid therefore there can be uh, we can say swelling of the lymph nodes lymph adenopathy can be there dyspnea as i told the rib pain intercostal muscles will be affected there will be lump formation excessive metastasis over the breast area can cause dyspnea also difficulty in breathing pattern so the metastasis can be present due to lymph nodes lymph nodes uh, uh, there is a very rich blood supply in the breast and lymph nodes are there so the metastasis can also proceed towards the liver as imagine that in females uh, under the breast diaphragm is present and liver is present so hepatic cancer liver cancer or uh, we can say lung cancer can be prevalent it can also metastasize even to this area that is cervical area or neck area can proceed towards the brain cancer brain cancer right so this is the these are the risk factors these are the risk factors first one is obesity alcohol intake smoking intake then uh, pcod polycystic ovarian disease hormonal therapy the females who are taking hormones during menopause hormonal medicines during menopause and for ovulatory purposes ionizing radiation such as ultraviolet radiation then x rays alpha beta gamma rays then late menopause can be another reason or risk factor lack of exercise or poor exercise uh, all, also it can be related to obesity then brac1 and brac and p53 very very important our gene mutation p53 onco genes and tumor suppressive genes the breaks p53 fails leading to excessive proliferation in the breast of the different kind of cells such as for example when we talk about type it can be covered under types ductal carcinoma can be there so what is basically ductal carcinoma you know in the breast that there are ducts which help in ejection of milk during our that is suckling effect or breastfeeding there can be ductal carcinoma 
ductal carcinoma lobular carcinoma is present in the lob uh, we can say lobular this area lobular area where the milk formation is present in the mammary glands so lobular carcinoma ductal carcinoma and pagets disease pagets disease can also be associated with the breast cancer pagets disease so now the diagnosis diagnosis generally include first one is fine needle aspiration cytology or biopsy fine needle aspiration or biopsy can be done by the doctors to check the presence of breast cancer then self breast examination i had made a se uh, separate video on this topic self breast examination in which the females are told to check their breast during uh, bathing or bathing uh, every month on same date in order to assess for any lump formation any dimpling any firmness uh, on the particular side of the breast so all these things are educated or told to the female especially the adolescent group and school going children or females in the the, the highest uh, we can classes for the uh, early assessment or screening of the breast cancer then is the seasonal biopsy a seasonal biopsy generally covers complete extraction or of the tumor from the breast for study purposes morphological studies and removal then is the mammography or the mammograph which generally covers the breast cancer studies Bre breast cancer studies sign and symptoms also include bloody discharge blood of uh, we can say discharge filled with blood from the uh, nipple area and there can be eczema yes what is eczema for example this is the nipple area and uh, this is the areola area nipple area and in the nipple area there is like this kind of eczema redness is present this is known as pagets disease this is known as pagets disease pagets disease so what comes under the tnm mechanism or tnm diagnosis so in the tnm grading or staging system the t stands for tumor uh, uh, assessment of the tumor size by the mammography or ct scan n size stands for lymph node m stands for metastasis how much the metastasis had occurred how much prominent is this so early detection depends upon these kinds of thing t and m tumor lymph nodes and then is the metastasis so all these things uh, are focusing on the early assessment so now the stages of breast cancer the stages generally cover o stage or zero stage that is ductal carcinoma the carcinoma in situ is benign tumor is present only in the ductal area stage second and third regional lymph nodes there are present regional lymph nodes which are draining which are draining lymphatic fluid so lymphatic uh, metastasis or regional lymph nodes are involved and in the last stage or we can say third stage metastasis prevails to the other nearby structures ribs bones etc so all this is under the breast cancer topic now uh, what is going to be the uh, we can say uh, our treatment options modalities present over there for the breast cancer patient so first of all we will discuss about the surgery surgery generally include first is mastectomy mastectomy is complete removal of the breast complete removal of the breast is done to prevent any complication to prevent any complication related to the breast then is the lumpectomy then is the lumpectomy only a very small portion of the breast is removed 
दिस इज नोन एज लंपेक्टमी एंड इन द लंपेक्टमी द ट्यूमर इज एक्साइज एंड रिमूवड एंड इट इट इज जनरली द सिंपल वी कैन से लिम्फ नोड डायसेक्शन लिम्फ नोड डायसेक्शन इज देयर एंड देन इज क्वाड्रेक्टमी क्वाड्रेक्टमी जनरली ऑल्सो मीन्स रिमूविंग ए क्वाड्रेट or one fourth part of the breast that is showing metastasis and tumor formation then is modified mastectomy breast tissue nipple and lymph nodes are removed breast tissue nipple and lymph nodes are removed but pectoral muscles but the muscles or cooper ligaments are stitched together to make its uh, this uh, area intact so this was surgical intervention now is the chemotherapy the drug of choice in the chemotherapy is doxirubicin and methotrexate methotrexate please note these words doxirubicin and methotrexate and last one comes the radiation in which both teletherapy and brachytherapy are used for that is beam use of beam or laser beam and placing the sealed and unsealed package in the garments or inside the cavity of the patient especially in the cavities in order to provide radiation from time to time and removal or decreasing the growth of the we can say cancer cells so this is all about our topic that is breast cancer so in the uh, last we can say that some there are some instructions which should be followed by the patient regarding his uh, uh, regarding her that is uh, surgery so first of all is that avoid over using of the arm involved the arm which is having uh, we can say mastectomy uh, lumpectomy should be at least used by the patient and also there should be some encouragement of the support group because it is also related to sh some psychological stigma uh, psychological problems and self image can be altered so uh, we can say social groups should be there to provide help to the patient psychologically do not let the arm hang uh, independently support the arm that is present near the breast Uh, do not carry a pocket book or anything heavy under the affected arm as some females are having habit of placing a clutch handbag over here uh, placing their tab over here heavy book diary so these all these things should be avoided and the affected part should be kept in intact so that the surgery after the surgery patient does not feel any trauma does not feel, feel any that is uh, we can say hanging part over there and one should wear gloves and gloves uh, uh, while during gardening use a thick mitten thick mitten for during cooking practices and use a thimble when we are stitching something thimble you know for the protection purposes apply hand creams several times a day hand creams should be avoid, uh, should be applied over the uh, that is uh, over our hands several times a day and in case of any inflammation at the site it should be immediately reported to the health care provider so i hope this short video might had proved useful which had covered all the aspects related to the breast cancer so thank you for watching this video keep supporting and keep subscribing